Here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. What is going on, people? We are back! Finally! We are finally fucking back. You know, it's taking me a little bit longer to put up this next, uh, this next part of my Resident Evil Chris Guide. This is part three, so we are done. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad! Man, what Damn! What shitty fucking equipment they got, you know? Ha! So I think they're gonna drop some snakes on us up here. No? No snakes? Oh my god. I'm using the tank controls here, people. Um, yeah, so it's taking us a little bit longer to, to get to the next part of the Chris Guide here. Had some major hiccups, you know? I, uh... Run! Chris, run! Uh, we had some hiccups. I actually had some computer problems, you know? I had to actually reformat my computer, reinstall Windows. Like fucking nightmare is what it was. They're so gonna drop some snakes. You don't really want to get bit if you keep running. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit. Do you know what? I think I got poisoned. I think I just got poisoned. Let's take a look. We sure did. Um, but that's okay. There's actually, there should be a blue herb. Uh, in the next courtyard, through this gate. Um, so we just finished the residence, you know. We saw fucking Wesker shooting them bees. Don't worry. Wasting so much ammo on those bees. Wesker's got those bees on lockdown. He's got that shit. You ain't gotta worry about it. Oh, fuck. So if you just, you like, these dogs are actually super easy to avoid, you know. We're gonna combine them. We didn't need to combine them. We could probably just take these individually, but whatever. Alright, alright. Uh, so now that we're done at the residence, uh, you know, the game obviously gives you a little bit of a clue. Wesker's like, Chris, go check out the rest of the mansion, blah blah blah. And good guy fucking Wesker, he leaves us a bunch of fucking goodies on our way back. And there's a note on the wall here. A uh, little read right here. Use this to protect yourself from that monster in chains that can't be hurt by guns. He also fixed the doorknob to make sure that you can get away. I also fixed the door from Wesker. Good guy fucking Wesker. And I always love that. It's just like, why? <laughs> why the fuck would Wesker take the time to fix the fucking doorknob? Uh, if you guys remember from, I think, like the first video there's that one there's that one uh a, a door that you once you go through in a certain direction you can only do it once and the doorknob breaks so yeah wesker's not a bad guy at all all right i love this this fmv series Fast as fuck. So that is our first encounter with a hunter. Um, there's actually going to be a couple more in this next room we're going into right now. So just want to keep moving with, with. Oh shit! Oh, with hunters. That's what. That's pretty much the the trick to beating them is just to fucking keep moving. You know. Um, and a lot of the zombies in this game, they get replaced by. Uh, once you return to the mansion, they get replaced with hunters. So shit gets quite a bit more dangerous. So they drop us all kinds of good shit. Two first aid fucking sprays. Uh, yeah, left us some handgun ammo. All the stuff that was on the floor there, that was also left by our boy fucking Wesker. Good guy Wesker. You know? Just a good dude. I don't know why everyone thinks he's so evil and shit. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna hang on to our, our, our shotgun. Uh, we're gonna hang on to our shotgun shells and the key that we picked up from Plant 42. Okay. Oh shit! So what I actually should have done right there is equip the equip the shotgun. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I can just equip it here real quick. Whoa! Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. What the? F oh, see, I fucked up there and I was trying to shoot, but I just got into a fucking manual reload animation. <laughs> Oh my god. I 
forgot how to play this game. So, we're gonna want to kill them both. Should take two shots. It will sometimes take three. Damn, I really fucked up there. I like forgot how to play for a second. I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna use first aid spray. <laughs> the fucking scrub that I am. Oh my god. That's okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw in my, in my box here. We are loaded with first aid sprays. You know, we can use that shit. Uh, so this room, usually I like to avoid killing enemies, right? It's just, you don't need to. Um, great thing about hunters is that they don't come back, you know, after you kill them. Once you kill them, they're, they're done. They're dead. Uh, not like those zombies. And honestly, we've stockpiled enough ammo at this point where we can actually, we can afford to kill a couple zombies. I mean, a couple hunters. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, but this room in particular, I wanted to, I wanted to clear them out. Because uh, we will be coming back into this hallway more than once. And it's a pretty important hallway. So you want to make sure that that place is clear. Um, this is totally optional. You can come over here and light up this fireplace. You know, make the room look all nice and shit. Lines carved into the relief. Glow red in the intense heat. I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think it, it kind of looks like like uh, the layout of the mansion. I don't I don't really know. Anyways, so we're going to use the mansion key. So the key that we got from, from Plant 42, really it only unlocks like a few doors. Uh, but there are a few doors that we did not have access to before. A few rooms, rather. Uh, so this is a, a puzzle. <laughs> if you could call it that. Oh my god, I'm having a hard time controlling. I'm just going to push this fucking statue all the way to the end. Man. This is fucking creepy, because, okay, honestly, I get that the statue's gonna, like, stop the walls from crushing our asses, but I would still, like, like, how hard is this, how hard is this statue, you know? Is it really gonna be able to withstand the pressure? So we're just gonna run around the side here, and run immediately back, because that's gonna reset, you can get crushed here again. Oh, fuck. Just give this a couple, it's like two and a half, three and a half full pushes, you know? Right over there. Let's go over there. I think there's, uh, should be a self defense item, a dagger. Which at this point, our only, our biggest concern are gonna be like hunters, and you can't, you can't really use a self defense item on hunters, but it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna grab this book here. Those, uh, there's gonna be like two of those books that we're gonna pick up. Um, and they're actually gonna have medallions in them. We're not gonna have to use them right away, but we will need to use them, so uh, of course we're gonna pick it up. <laughs> uh, fuck, you guys know how much I fucking hate spiders. I fucking hate them. Oh! Oh, you actually, you don't even need to take a right. Like, I took a right right here, and I'm just gonna use that. You know, only gonna go that way to pick up this fucking ammo. Uh, not even necessary. There's a map on the wall there. Oh! Oh shit, run! Oh! Just keep moving! You motherfucker. Yeah, you don't really want to get poisoned. <laughs> the spiders, they don't even do that much damage, but you're just like guaranteed to get poisoned, you know? Um, luckily, they're good guys and they give you a fucking red and blue herbs right here. This is be another self-defense item. There's a couple of zombies in this room. Okay. Uh. Oh! Please! Oh! Okay. So, we're gonna have to restore power to the elevator. Now, it looks like it's all, like, sparking and shit, and we're standing in a bunch of water. You know, when I first... I remember when I first came across this, I was like, am I gonna die from doing this? But... And it seems sketch, you know what I mean? But it's okay, it's perfectly safe. For some fucking reason. It's totally safe. So don't be afraid, just fucking flip the switch. I'm gonna keep on running. So this is actually gonna take us back this door here. It's gonna take us back to the kitchen. Now if you guys remember in the kitchen, we were here in like the first video. 
All right, this is where we grabbed uh, one of the small keys. And so now this lift here now has power again. Damn. Previously inaccessible to us. So, you know, I had to fucking like reformat my computer. And thank God, I'm playing this on Steam. Thank fucking God that Steam has that cloud storage, so it's like saved my uh, uh, my progress, my save files. We don't even need to shoot this guy. So we're just gonna take our, our need it right there. There are some green herbs and some other stuff, but there's like three zombies in this room, so we're just gonna like avoid them. I think it's actually only two. And this closet, this is like a maintenance closet. This is the greatest fucking closet of all time. We got self-defense item. We're gonna grab that shit. Fuck yeah. There's a battery. Very important. We're gonna want to grab that. Um, and two. Count them. Fucking two things of shotgun ammo. This will literally be all of the shotgun ammo we will need in this game. Look at that. So much ammo. So use your use your ammo. Don't be afraid to fucking use your shotgun at this point. Especially on the hunters and stuff. You know, a lot of the speedrunners they like to just you know avoid killing enemies. I'm just like you know what? Fuck it. I want to kill some shit. <laughs> so yeah, don't be afraid to use your ammo. At this point. So we're back. You guys might recognize this. One of- Oh! One of the most dangerous hallways in the game. And so, I don't know if you guys remember back when we got the, uh... Fuck you. Oh! Please. Oh, please. Uh, back when we got... The armor key we had to like replace it with the imitation key from the dog collar and it was this creepy ass hallway actually what we're gonna do we're just gonna manually reload again this creepy ass hallway where like the spiked armored dude comes like with his spinning shield of death um, you would never think to come back to this room because you probably would only think you need to get the imitation key but if you keep on running there's a hidden fucking door right over here and it's crucial that you come here. The only real way you would really know is to either explore or use the mansion map that you would get on the first floor in like the art gallery room. Okay. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's go. It is time to fight Yawn. So we can be cheeky and get a couple you can get a couple cheap ass shots in there before everything starts. Yeah. So usually, you really, you don't want to get caught. You don't want to get caught in his coil. You know. The trick is to just like find a good spot and just keep on shooting because um, he doesn't attack that often so if you just like plan your shots realize that you're in a good spot I can squeeze out a couple you know squeeze out a couple bullets uh, he actually is not not that difficult you can actually uh, he's one of the easier boss battles in my opinion you can beat him with a knife seeing people fucking do it. it's crazy oh so we're full up uh, so we're just gonna go and use this green herb here and this is uh the second book. I, I remember uh, remember I, I we picked up the red one red one the red book. Jesus, I can't fucking talk. Um, in that first hallway leading up to the spiders. And uh, so that's the second. And we're gonna need that to get to the to the laboratory. So we are full up on items. We're actually gonna go and hit up an item box in one of the save rooms, safe rooms, whatever the fuck you wanna call it back to the armor hallway. See, so I had to fucking reinstall all this shit on my computer. What a fucking nightmare. You know, all kinds of setbacks. That was a big one, so I had to, like, recreate all of my fucking templates. I had to reinstall this game. Again, thank God for the fucking, like, Steam's cloud save system. I didn't erase my save. So this hallway is a whole lot safer now. Here. Oh, 
Okay. Couple things. Fuck, we'll just run down those stairs. We're gonna go drop off a bunch of... Jesus, I can't run. Drop off a bunch of... Bunch of shit. A bunch. Drop off a bunch of shit. Um... Jesus Christ. Okay. So for this leg, you know, we actually don't need that much. These two books, we're not going to need right away. We're going to put them away. Uh, we're actually not even going to take our fucking shotgun. We don't even fucking need it. Um, and we're doing, we're going to grab, we're going to grab the crank because we are going to need the crank. Okay. Uh, and let's go. So we're not going to be, we, we're just going to leave the shotgun. So yes, it's gonna leave us a little bit vulnerable, but the places that we're going are actually pretty safe. Actually, no, fuck, do you know what? I think I might need the shotgun. I might need the shotgun. For one, uh, for one little incident that's gonna happen. Jesus Christ, this is the worst guide in history. Oops. Okay, so take the shotgun. <laughs> oh my goose people. But don't take the shotgun shells. That's the, that's the key, because you do need the inventory space. Oh my god. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to this room on the side here. Use our old mansion key. Okay. So there's a little bit of a puzzle here. I wouldn't even fucking call it a puzzle. It's pretty simple shit. First thing you want to do... Cause, I mean, the first thing you really want to do is like, f like switch the lights off. But we, we don't really need to right now. I just want to show you guys this little fucking eagle statue. It's gonna be looking at us. It's like a surveillance thing. There is a uh, dagger over here. So basically, once it, once it reaches like the full like length of like looking in this direction, uh, it's gonna lock these little gems into place. Here, I'll show you. This is fucking confusing. My, descri my description's just god awful. Alright, so we're just gonna have it look over here. You know? We're just gonna run in the other direction quickly, climb up, and grab the gem from this fucking statue thing. Okay, there's gonna be two of them. There's gonna be one on each end. So, you hear that little locking noise. Once he is looking all the way over here, I wouldn't have been able to grab that gem. Okay? There's two. We'll grab yellow one and the red one okay and that's it we're done this room that's all we need to grab with those two gems and uh, this is very important uh, because one of them is needed in order to get the mo disc which is needed to get the best possible ending Whew! just keep on fucking running I can, like, barely move right now. This, uh... Oh. Okay. So it's this room right here. I'm using a, an Xbox 360 controller. And the Xbox 360 controller has the worst fucking D-pad. Okay, so there's this creepy-ass looking tiger statue. Okay. There's two gems. Now, I know they both fucking look the same. There's actually three gemstones. There's a blue one as well that was uh, up in the dining hall. Um, but for this one, we're going to use the yellow one. Okay. So there's three gemstones. The yellow one and the blue one you use on this tiger statue. Uh, the yellow one's going to get you the MO disc. This is MO disc number one. Very fucking important item in this game. You know? So we're going to snag that. And then the blue one, there's a blue MO disc. And what that one gets you is uh some shotgun shells which we re we really don't need at this point okay so we're pretty much done with this entire like side of the mansion we're gonna head over to the east side of the mansion right now there's a little shortcut we can take oh okay <laughs> this music though Alright, so this is we're back in the fucking dining hall. So remember I was saying the blue gemstone. So this is actually where it drops right here. The statue used to be up on the second level and you could actually push it off. But once you return to the mansion for like phase two, 
you know? It'll actually just get pushed off by itself, you know? There's actually, uh, if you go up there, there's a, there is a hunter up there now, so I don't know. I guess that's what pushes it off. I have no idea. Okay, so we're back in the main fucking hall. And in this room on the left here. This should be the last time we use the mansion key. Okay, so we are going to discard it. Very important that we discard the mansion key because we need the inventory space. Okay? And we're going to go through the door. Mm. Ah, some good fucking coffee. Okay. This next room always fucking trips me out because there's this like this big ass mirror. You see what I mean? Those mirror effects though. Okay, we're gonna grab the dagger. There's a green herb. We do not need to pick up the green herb. I guess you could if you were hurt or if you got bit by this guy, but obviously we didn't. <laughs> Okay, so that's all we needed to grab was the jewelry box. So remember what I was saying is that the 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 gemstones, the yellow one and the blue one, go into the tiger statue. This red one here is actually going to be used to unlock this fucking jewelry box. So we'll just go ahead and do that right now. Why the fuck not? Um, now it's a little bit of a puzzle. You see, you can rotate that shit. Uh, wait, 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 wait. How how the fuck? Okay, there we go. Okay, so you want to rotate it. This is the bottom piece, you know. Set that shit down as best you can. No, I think this one goes like right here, like that. Oh. All right. Now it kind of has to like fit. Like you'll see, like when you're moving it. See how it like goes into like the indent there. So you gotta make sure that you, when you're putting it down. Oh Jesus! Did I do this fucking wrong? Okay, there, 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 like this. No? Holy shit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Clearly. I clearly do not know what the fuck I'm doing. There we go, there we go, like that. Ah! Oh! There we go, there we go. So it has to go into the fucking indent. There we go. I was on the right track, kind of, right? Oh. Please! Yes. So now this last piece, pretty self-explanatory, just fits into the center. Boom! So we get the brooch. It's a nice, nice fucking brooch. But wait, there's more. It's actually a key. Okay. So this key unlocks one single door. Oh my god. Uh, we're gonna use a shortcut to get there it's the greatest shortcut ever it's actually uh, right through like the art gallery area so we're gonna use that the one with the crows and shit so we're gonna use that shortcut from the outside and this will pretty much take us exactly to the room we need to So you gotta be quick here, you can't fucking dick around because uh, there is a hunter still in this hallway. It's the first hunter we encountered. He's right there. Oh shit! Oh, we fucked! We fucked up! Oh! Oh, please! Please! Discard it, yes! Oh shit! I took like two solid swipes from that motherfucker. <laughs> that, that did not go as planned. Rebecca! Is she upstairs? So, very important, Rebecca is about to get fucked up in case we do something about it. So it'll give you a little bit of time. How's our health? We took like three solid swipes from that hunter because we fucking went the wrong way. Uh, okay, so now that you turn that on, there's some sh uh, some shotgun shells there. Yeah, sure, we'll grab it. Why the fuck not? Uh, but most importantly, we're going to want to grab this metal fucking object. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so now that we got the fucking metal object, we're gonna bounce. And now we have to go and save Rebecca's ass. 
This is why I needed to hang on to the fucking shotgun. So we're going to be quick here. And so all you know is that it's upstairs. Is that the scream is coming from upstairs. So it doesn't actually give you too much to go on. Now this room is now safe. This is, uh, it is safe because we killed those two fucking hunters. Oh my god, I can't fucking, this D-pad is just the worst. So, she's actually going to be in the room where we got the dog whistle way back in the very first video. Okay, so we can go ahead, we're just going to equip this. It's important that we save Rebecca, obviously, because we want to get the best fucking ending to this game. Alright. This hunter should take a couple solid shots. Ooh, you wanna fucking Like how we're We're firing like directly at Rebecca. Rebecca She's like cost Chris, caught the crossbow. Okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. What? Stay cool. And use your better judgment. That's the worst Got advice. It? That's like the worst thing you can handle myself. Do. Good luck. Good luck. All right. And do you know what, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually it. That is it for this phase of the mansion. We can bounce. Let me get the fuck out of here. Um. <laughs> so we're actually we're gonna head back to like uh, the courtyard where we drained that pool. If you guys remember. But we're going to make a pit stop right here in the fucking save room again. And just we're just going to make sure that we're taking the proper shit with us, okay? So, for this leg, we don't need the shotgun. And we can actually, we can heal up. We can probably use a first aid spray. Uh, we don't use the, we don't need the MO disc. We're going to use that for later, okay? Uh, the metal object, we don't even need that right now. This is actually one of the phases of the game. You don't really need that much at all. We just need the battery. We need the crank. And we're going to make sure that we're healthy moving on to the next area. And we're all going to save. And that is going to be it for today, kids. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we're leaving the mansion, and we're going to head towards the caves. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace out. What? <laughs>